Hello and welcome back friends. So this week I'm going to be talking about my creative endeavors for the year. Uh, in a previous video I had mentioned how I wanted to use this channel as a documentation of sorts for my works throughout the year. Um, and that being said, I wanted to start off by showing you guys exactly where I am as far as each of my goals. So let's start. To start off, let's talk about photography. So I've mentioned before that I am interested in starting a photography business. Now that to me means two things. The first is uh, creating a website where I can advertise myself and show my works. Now, my website is currently about 50% finished and you'll see on screen, I think it looks quite nice and the things that I still want to add to it are a portfolio page and a more in-depth page uh, describing how I would charge people for my services because there are a multitude of things that I would like to do for other people, including graduation photography, artistic portraits, or just business headshots and each of those pricings might vary a little bit and all of those are still to be determined but I would still like to go ahead and make a page um, talking about that and more specifically emphasizing the fact that a lot of these prices aren't necessarily solidified and what I want to create is a business where my clients are willing to communicate with me and I can explain to them specifically what my process is and I could show them examples or I can ask them what they are looking for um, so I really want to create this interactive side uh, as part of this business and so another aspect of that is really getting an Instagram started um, I have a personal Instagram where I post pictures on and I was like I think it's about time that I create a photography based Instagram and so um, on this Instagram I want to have a minimum of 15 pictures all taken by me and also all fully edited by me and these are probably going to be the same pictures that will be on the portfolio that appear on the website just to kind of make it a bit easier on myself because I don't want to force myself to have 15 different pictures for you know my Instagram and another like 10 or so for my website and you know a total of 25 different pictures I want to show people the best work that I have but the reason I chose 15 as a specific number is because when you bring up your Instagram page I want a person to be able to scroll down on the page rather than just look at you know eight or nine pictures that I have and be like oh that's not a lot of stuff to work with so I don't really know how to judge your work um, that being said, uh, the goal for these two things is to have them both finished by the end of February. So there's not that much time left, about two weeks. Um, so I hope that by the start of March, I will have another update on my photography side of things. But I think that wraps everything as far as photography goes. So let's move on to music. So as far as goals for music goes, my main goal is to release an EP by the end of this year. The goal is to have it be five to seven songs long and I'm leaning towards seven songs and I currently have three fully finished songs as far as writing goes um, and I have two songs that I've produced and so I would like to at least write another three songs for this EP before I can comfortably put it out. Um, I have been planning this for a while and I've been working on it for a while. Uh, I feel particularly picky about what kind of music I put out because I have pretty high standards as far as what I make and as far as what it sounds like in particular and so I think it'd be nice to really kind of focus on creating a really well produced and well mixed uh, EP by the end of this year and the other goal is to kind of start just performing more either doing gigs in bars or cafes um, I think both of those despite being how small and you know non profitable that these you know performances may seem I think that the experience of it would be really worth it for me as someone who comes from a performing background um, back in high school I performed a lot in competitions and just you know with bands and all that and so it's really something that I would like to get back into almost getting back to my roots and a little 
kind of fun thing that I want to do is that once I finish my EP, I want to collaborate with some coworkers of mine to perform the EP for close friends and family of mine that um, might be interested in hearing, you know, what's to come for the future. Uh, it would be like a fully acoustic set kind of deal. And, you know, I'd have people performing with me. So background vocals and the keyboardist and maybe a second guitarist or a bassist, something like that, something really well-rounded that sounds full and it's not just me and hopefully by the time i do that i can show it to you guys the goal at the moment is to have all the songs finished being written by end of may or beginning of june and i think that's a pretty fair timeline as far as workload goes um moving on to video though i mean if you're watching this video this is a part of my goal um i just want to be con I just want to continue to be consistent with, you know, creating these YouTube videos and showcasing my progress on everything and just showing you guys parts of my life. Um, I don't really like to, you know, stick to one thing in particular. And I think that, you know, showing you guys just every part of my life is much more interesting than just showing you guys just one portion of that. And so I am continuing to hope that I will be consistent, consistent, I apologize, about posting these YouTube videos once a week. I hope that you guys continue to enjoy them. And if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. Um, but the other goal is to try and like create some short films this year. Um, I directed a couple short films back in college and I was really, really happy with the process of directing and just going through the pre-production process and actually also sitting in the editor room. And just the entire process to me feels very satisfying to go through. And it's something that I would love to do on a larger scale, hopefully releasing two 10 to 15 minute short films this year. Um, that is a personal goal of mine. I am in the process of writing and finishing up a script at the moment. And maybe I can show that to you guys sometime soon. And I can even go through the process of making the storyboards and whatnot for that as well. And yeah. It'll be a really fun project to do. As far as the timeline for that goes, I would not be very certain about that. But once again, I will continue to update you guys throughout the year. But yeah, with all things said, these are the goals that I have laid out for the year creatively. I hope that you guys can see the progress that I'm making throughout the year and the consistency that I am putting into these projects um, throughout the year and I'm very excited for the future. I'm excited to show you guys um, all the things that I'm going to be doing and all the things that I will be doing soon. So thank you guys for coming back to this channel. It means a lot as always and thank you for sticking around. I hope to see you guys next week. Bye.